There's also a misconception about there are zero trust products. There's no saying that it's a zero trust product. It's actually a framework. It's a process. I want to make sure that we all understand clearly that uh, what some of the mis- misconceptions are. One is that zero trust means making a system trusted. Now, obviously, by that statement, it's kind of just restating an obvious fact, but it's not. It's more of a framework. And zero trust is not about I- just identity. There's a lot of identity access management providers would like you to believe that, but it's not all about identity. Obviously, you want to know who's in the network, but you also want to know what they're getting access to and what why they have access to it and stop them from getting stuff that they don't need to get into and go from there. Now, is there's also a misconception about there are zero trust products. There's no saying that it's just a zero trust product. It's actually a framework. It's a process. I mean, that's where a lot of misconception comes out because you see in the marketing taglines, hey, this is a zero trust. doesn't say exactly product, but this is zero trust affiliated and all kinds of crazy things. Well, it's all part of the solution. There's different solutions. Now, there's companies that have implemented a ton of solutions in the zero trust process, but John Kinderberg, being the godfather of it, has put in... Um, tested this out at Palo Alto Networks for four years. So it's out there. There's off the shelf products that actually work that actually are implemented in here. So obviously it's easier to keep the process simple rather than complicated. And as we all know, complexity and increases risk. So, and zero trust is you hear all this stuff because you look at it and you get all the data at you and you're thinking like, this is really complicated. Um, it's not. 